Welcome to Valiant Lady. In this video, a full ship tour and a review with Meatball. That's me. <laughs> and we're going to be taking you through the entire ship with a bunch of helpful tips. And make sure you check the chapters if you want to skip ahead to a certain location. But right now, we're starting this actually at the top. We're on micro way down. And right now, we are at the perch. And the perch is a spot where they do a lot of like wellness stuff up here, like a lot of yoga, meditation, etc. Or uh, and I don't know if you can see it right now, but we got some topless ladies over there. So let's head down. <laughs> It's not, an everyday, it's not an everyday occurrence that you see that. Actually, when we were up here yesterday, they had, um, there's a new rewards program that they had mapped, that, that they had recently rolled out um, called the Sailing Club. And mm. they had like a happy hour, cocktail hour. What did oh. they serve? They served, uh, we had uh, like some type of, uh, it was a wine and also a sangria. It was yeah. delicious. They had kava and then that they was had good. sangria. Um, and behind us, or actually, sorry, in front of us now, you can see this is the walk and run path um, where people are walking and running or one of your best spots to grab a photo in front of the big Virgin sign. It's a windy day. We're actually at port at Costa Maya today. So our sailing is, what is it? Six days, no, six nights. Six nights, yeah. Six nights um, on the Valiant Lady out of Miami. And today we're at port at Costa Maya. So now we're on 16. Um, and this is where the pajama party was at. How would you rate the pajama party oh, this pajama year? pajama party is a lot of fun. A lot of people are wearing some awesome outfits. Yeah, they even had a little contest. It was yeah. cute. Um, so this is called the Athletic Club. Um, and actually, this is where they have the triple net. And so if you take off your shoes and you are not totally intoxicated, you can go lay out on the net, on the triple net. And this actually looks down. Actually, have you ever been on this? No. <laughs> if you go all the way out, you can look down onto the dock, but you can see all the way down to sea on the, on the triple net. Um, and then when you come this way, we got hot tubs. Oh, actually, yesterday you had a, um, you had a mudslide here. Yeah, it was delicious. Guy nailed it on the mudslide. Yeah, he was super nice too. Oh, so one thing that's new for this sailing so actually, how many sailings have we been on in total? Five, I believe. Five. five Do you have six. five or six? Five or six, yeah. We have three sailings between this one and the two that we have coming up. Um, but one thing that's new is pickleball. And so <laughs> for those of you who watch me on social media, um, which, by the way, if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. If you like to travel, consider subscribing. And if you like to play pickleball, also consider subscribing. I have tons of helpful travel uh, and pickleball videos out. Ooh, let's see if I can get you in there. Oh, there it is. So it's like a baby net, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, not like a full pickleball setup at all. But I mean, it's neat that they have it. They provide the equipment. That definitely ain't a Franklin ball, nor is it an Onyx indoor ball, but can't complain, I guess. <laughs> Pickleball. Um, but they also, um, on that court, they do, obviously you can play basketball there. You and I dodgeball. have done the dodgeball. A lot of fun. Dodgeball Super is a fun. lot of fun. Balls aren't too hard, they're nice and soft. The balls are nice and soft. <laughs> uh, but the other thing that they do there is the, the dance class. Yeah. Um, I do the dance class, uh, yeah. which is Backstreet like the... Boys, Ed Sing, yeah. the pop. It's like the throwbacks, super fun. So what we're walking past right now are all the cabanas, which, I don't know, in my opinion, I would actually would not recommend booking the cabanas. I feel like they're more relaxing spaces around the ship. But one of the things about the cabanas is that even though, the, even though they have shade on top, I don't know, it's like, I don't know if you'll necessarily get the shade or the wind or the view that you're looking for when you're in there, but anyway. More so for privacy, I think. Yeah, I guess you're it's really more of a privacy, privacy thing. But these are the cabanas. There are 10 different cabanas over here. Um, and where it takes us to on the other side um, is where the Sun Club is at. The Sun Club. Ooh, we will go down to the pools in a minute. What ship is next to us today? I don't know. One that, that one doesn't do matter. Oh, we just got off the worst sailing. Who was it with? Uh, what was that? And um, 
Oh my God, I forgot what they're called. Yeah, I don't ever want to remember them. That's MSC. <laughs> MSC we were on yeah. the Seascape, oh, yeah, Seascape, which is one of their brand new ships. Absolutely awful. The opposite experience of version. I'm feeling so thankful to be back on this ship. Um, I would say the top three worst things about MSC would be kids in the nightclub. Uh, the elevator was the worst. The, we we normally we take only the stairs, take the stairs, but, but the elevator experience was absolutely awful. Um, I felt bad for some of the old people. Like you could see them really struggle. They with a lot were of really that stuff. struggling, and just it was that that entire experience was just a hot mess. It was just a yeah. hot mess. Uh, but there was really good service on that boat. Anyway, we're really glad to be back um, on Virgin Voyages. What you see ahead of us right now are two things. One, this is the smoking area, one of the few smoking areas on the ship. And then just on the other side is Richard's rooftop. Um, what was your favorite thing about Richard's rooftop? Uh, the free champagne. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. <laughs> so Richard's rooftop is a spot where if you have rock star status or you're a VIP on the boat, um, which on the last sailing we were, unfortunately on this sailing we are not, um, but you had the option to access Richard's rooftop. And my favorite thing about it was um, the one hour a day sail away party, which was free Moet, which was awesome. This is a top mistake that I made on one of my first sailings, which is I didn't know this space right here in front of us existed. And so what this is, is the Sun Club Cafe. And the Sun Club Cafe is like poke. The poke bowls. Yeah, and uh, buns. bao buns. You got some bao buns in there. So delicious. I only ever get the salmon poke, but you tried the bao bun for the first yeah, time. Yeah, it was good. Which the, one did you have? The barbecue beef rib one. That was really good. That was delicious. Um, so this is the Sun Club Cafe. Its hours are a little bit more limited than some of the other places, so you have to check it on the Virgin Voyage app. Um, but you can see behind it, Richard's rooftop extends through the entire front. So if you actually want to see that plus the Mega Rockstar Suite, then check out my other video, link in the description below, um, where you can check out exactly that and see what the entire VIP experience is like um, and if it's worth it for you because it depends on which perks you care about. Uh, but what you can see over here is the pool. Um, hello, pool party. Everyone relaxing at the pool today. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna head down. So this was deck 16. And now we're gonna head down to 15, which is where all the pools are at, and the rest of the aquatic club where there's more bars. But one thing that's in front of me, because a lot of people ask, like, oh my gosh, like where am I gonna be able to fill my water? These water stations are literally everywhere, all around the ship, not just up here on 16, so you'll see more later. Um, but you can see ahead of us is the track that we had started at, and then now we will head down. Let's head down. What would you say is the biggest difference between Valiant Lady and Scarlet Lady? Uh, not too much of a difference. Um, I think the one one really big difference that I notice is like when you're by the coffee shop, I believe on the fifth floor, yeah. is uh, on the Valiant Lady, they have these swings that are really great for photo ops and they don't have that uh, yeah. actually here on the so Valiant Lady. So some of the decor is different. Yeah, you'll see that. So let's pause here so they can see it and then we'll walk to the other side they can see it. So there's two pools and the setup on Scarlet Lady is exactly the same as Valiant Lady. So Valiant Lady, you have the regular pool that you absolutely cannot swim laps in. <laughs> but this is where tonight is Scarlet Night. Scarlet yes. Night starts at the pool. So we'll be in this area. This is also where the sail away party is at when they have the free champagne. Um, and on the other side is the other side of the pool. And they also have like a little workout station area. Remember when I used to be able to do pull-ups? Yeah, you can still do them. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can test that today. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm very hungover today. What was the party last night? Our party last night was. Uh, what was the party it was heartbeat. Oh yeah. Oh no, it wasn't. It was we no. fancy. Um, so one of the things I love about. Virgin Voyages is that they partnered with the House of Yes, which is out of New York City, to put on really fun events um, and parties. So right now, here's the back. Um, this is the this is the other pool at the Aquatic Club. Um, and let's head down. Let's go behind us and then head downstairs. Yeah, yeah. But last night's event was We Fancy. It's cute. They had like the Happenings cast come out and do a bunch of um, dances. It was really cute. 
How did I forget about the galley? This is like one of the most important parts. Let's go through the galley. Oh, getting there. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, so there's two things. So behind the pool, you have two things. You have the galley, which is the main food area. And then we also have- um, like your run. Yeah, the gym. Finals. So let's go gym first. So yesterday we did the spin class. Uh, your butt was hurting pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> we always do the spin class when we're here. They do a good job. Yeah, they do a great job. Um, the, but there's a bunch of bikes. A lot of people do not show up. And so if you can't get into the spin class, I recommend you come as a walk-in. You'll definitely get in. And then on this side, they have all of the cardio equipment versus on the other side, that's where they have all like weights. the weights and stuff like that. You've done this before. Yeah. Um, the bolt where they basically do an analysis of your mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of your muscle and your fat. <coughs> oh, <I> have... fat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. um, let's go through the galley and then we'll go through the other side of the gym. Yeah. So when you've been getting any coffee in the morning, have you been going upstairs or downstairs? I've been coming here. Oh, you've been not coming up? Yeah, well, I've been switching it off, to be honest with you. Oh, all right. So there's um, two things. One, there's grab and go. That's on this side, if you want your food to go. And there's another water refill station there. And then on this side, you have um, the grounds club. And there's two locations of where the coffee is at. There's one that's downstairs on the seventh floor. And then there's this one that's in the galley. So you can see what's happening here. Some people are ordering actually at the food station, but you don't have to order from here. You can sit down um, and order. And most places are like that here where you have don't to sit to put down. Your flag up. Gotta put yeah, the you have to put the flag up. up. On the menu board. <laughs> so on each of the little menus that are each on the tables, you can indicate to the staff that you want um, to order something by putting a flag up. A lot of people don't realize that and just stand around, but you can see this guy's ordering off of his menu. And oh, here we go, here oh, we this go. Is, what is this? This is it. This is the place to be. This is Lou's favorite restaurant, uh, which is Gun Bay. Uh, we're actually dining here tonight. Do you mind if we just walk in? Yeah, we can go ahead, but it's cool that like, oh, yeah, yeah. parking. Yeah. yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and so at Gun Bay, you can see it's tables that are around a hot plate and you sit with strangers. You sit with other sailors. Obviously, if you have your own party of six, you can all sit together. But you play, um, you play a drinking game together. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I lost a drinking game last time. I never lose the drinking game. I felt kind of sad about that. Uh, so this is Gun Bay, awesome, awesome restaurant. And one helpful thing to know, 45 days, 45 days before you're sailing is when you sign up for all the restaurants. It's really important that you do that in advance. Uh, what you see in the back is the outdoor seating for the galley. Um, we'll head back there later. But 45 days before is when you sign up for each um, of your dinner reservations. And um, I talk about this in my other helpful tips video, but it's really important that um, you choose the time that's right for you. I feel like there's always a lull period when like the afternoon activities are done and when like the evening stuff starts, which is generally like, I don't know. It's, it's nap like, time. That's nap yeah, time. It's nap, that's nap time you took me. it as nap time. Uh, which is generally like that seven to nine or seven to nine thirty period where there isn't a whole lot going on around the ship. And we will talk about um, a daily itinerary. I'll show you, for example, what tomorrow at sea will look like. Um, but book your dinners in advance. Over here, oh, what was your favorite one yesterday? Oh, s'mores. Oh yeah, s'mores you had really the hit. s'mores one. That's all like the delicious pastries and fruit and such. I really loved the peach crumble. That was delicious. But you can get a bunch of really uh, delicious fresh baked breads um, and other items at Well Bread. Over here is the burger bar. Have you had a burger from the burger bar? Not yet. Not yet. It looks good though. I don't know, like six salines and still haven't had one yet. Um, we just had breakfast here at Din Diner and Dash. Um, and one thing to look out for is sometimes they have specials. And when they have specials, like, what was it, French toast that one day? Waffles. Um, don't forget to miss out on that, or do not miss out on that, rather. Uh, over here you have Bento Baby, where you can get, um, like, sushi to go. And then over here is Popsicles. <laughs> I feel like we haven't eaten this in a long time. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Tacos. I think I'm gonna have to take a seat. <laughs> Grab a taco. Uh -oh.
It's time. Maybe a quick break for tacos. Okay. And the galley extends back. Um, on this side, you have more options for water and juices and such. Um, new round, I feel like the last couple times, this is one of the late night spots. Generally open later, but you can get ramen and udon from noodle rounds. We've had this a bunch yeah, of times, hot off the press, where you can get like hot paninis. Um, some really delicious options there too. I got the PB and J. PB and J is good. Oh yeah, you did order that, didn't you? <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. No um, so there's kind of the back seating area. Excuse us. This is the back seating area. So this is actually a really nice space to sit down at, especially when you're sailing away because you can get a view of the back while like relaxing on the couches. Let's take a look at the view. Who's it? Who's at port today? Seven Seas? Regent. I don't even know who Regent is. Um, but if you look down, you can look down onto the dock. Um, and that's, what on that, that's what's on that side. So we're going to head back through the galley and we'll take you over to the gym. All right, before we leave the galley, what's your favorite thing in the galley? Oh, my favorite thing in the galley, I'd have to say, is the uh, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's the bomb. How I like that. Haven't had it yet. Uh, you know, I'm watching my calories, my girlish figure. <laughs> I would say my favorite is Diner and Dash, which is open 24 hours, and they have that hash brown. It's just a hash brown. The hash brown. The hash brown. It's it's so really good. Perfectly crispy and tasty. It's Look, good another stuff. water station. All right, we got food to go on this side. Now it's time for the gym. Actually, we had a good workout yesterday. Yeah, so after spin, workout. we went and we worked out. Okay. Um, but there's a ton of equipment. And then there's uh, there's something we're doing later today. What's that? It's my favorite. It's the uh, bungee class. I actually like this class so much. I went out and bought a bungee from my house. <laughs> yeah. Just a real quick backstory. I have clients come to my house because, you know, uh, book weddings and stuff. And when they see this thing hanging, they think very peculiar things about me, but I can tell you it's just for workout reasons only. It's amazing. Workout reasons only. <laughs> All right, so here's the rest of the gym. This is the weight room. And then you can see it leads out back to the aquatic bar where the pool's at. All right, we have a long walk. We're gonna head to seven. Uh, we're gonna head to seven. What other classes have we done in here? Oh, you've done some of the wellness classes where like they do nutrition talks. Yeah, remember that? yeah they, do, they do them in the same room as the uh, yeah. bungee class over what you're eating, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they do all kinds of wellness stuff there. Um, they have stretching class as well. Yeah, we have, we've taken the stretching class. All right, so let's jump in the elevator and we're gonna go all the way down to seven because you can see, um, you can see like eight through 14 are all of the cabins. And now we are magically on seven. <laughs> all right, let's head this way, which Let's see if I'm correct. Is this coffee? No, that's coffee. Oh, close, the, close. the build is the same, and this is like sailing number six for us, and I still don't know what's what. Um, all right, so this is Grounds Club. This is the seventh floor location. Oh, I had the best apple Danish the other day. Uh, what do they have today? How are you? <gasps> Apricot Danish. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, Delicious. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, they have tons of coffee here, nice seating spaces. And then this will take us over to the social club. What's in the social club? Oh, games, lots of games, <laughs> lots of fun games. They got Pac-Man. And baby wings. Baby wings, yeah, they got the, milkshakes, they got- Those wings were like exceptionally baby. No, yeah, non-GMO, so non-GMO, you know? That's yeah, it's it non-genetically like, modified. Uh, a, so here is where you can get things like, I had, which hot dog did I have? Oh yeah, for, hold on, hold on, that. we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, you got the option for games, a lot of different games. So you can check out the games at any time. And then they have part of the Happenings cast, which if you're like, what is the Happenings cast? It's basically your 12 cruise directors. Um, they will put on games here and karaoke. karaoke there was karaoke last night. Um, shuffleboard, but over here is where they have like hot dogs, boozy floats, popcorn. Um, and normally on this side over here is where they have different kinds of treats, 
What did you get yesterday? I got the, uh, the cake the, pop. Yeah, the, the vanilla pop cake pop. Um, I had a really delicious um, strawberry rice crispy treat. Oh, that was really good. Um, but this is where you can get kind of casual food. Um, and then it leads to this other side, which is the arcade. And one of the top things that people get wrong is that they think you have to pay for the games, but all the games are included. I feel like I had the worst round of Pac-Man of my life the other it day. It happens. It happens. The best of us. I know, and I accidentally chose the same fighter twice on Street Fighter. We're both Ken. Um, got all the games. They do have one. They are missing a game that you like, though. That's yeah, on Scarlet Lady. Bar Tap. Bar Tap, I think it's called. Bar. I think it's called Bar Tap. Yeah, the bar game. But all the games are free. And you got arcade games in here. If you ever dreamed of high scoring on an arcade machine, this is your chance to do that. Um, you beat me yesterday. Yeah. At air hockey. And then on this side, we actually don't really spend a lot of time with the loose cannon. No. Um, do they have the little octopus things here? Well, they do. These. These little things where you can put like shooters and shots on top of. I think that's super cute. Um, but the loose cannon is uh, one of the bar options. They have a lot of like beers on tap and such. Loose cannon. All right, let's keep making our way back. <laughs> Excuse us. Thank you, by the way. I don't know if you're recording, but thank you for your video. Oh, thank you. Uh, it means a lot to me. Yeah, I saw two of them. Yeah. They were great. They were great. Oh, I appreciate it. I hope Thanks you're enjoying so your sailing. Good. Thank you good. so much. Oh, good. I'd love to hear that. Oh, that's so nice. That's great. I feel special. You are special. Oh, the wake is back here. Oh my gosh. How much money did I lose on this machine? A lot. I could not kill one of those little balls. I don't even know what you win. Oh, you win like a shirt or a, a cap. I don't even think I wanted to win. I just wanted the ball. I just wanted to be able to grab it with the claw. I never did. All right, so this is where the retail is at. Yeah. I don't think you and I have ever purchased anything from this nah. retail before, but they have like dresses and sun hats and nipa diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> got jewelry. Oh, you love this spot. Where are we at? This is the... Let's see if he knows. Oh, it's the ingress point. Oh, the dock. Sorry. The dock. The dock. This is the dock. And the dock extends here with the indoor section and then it goes outside to the dock house. Um, yeah, it's cool. Or is it the opposite? And we're at the dock house now, anyway. I play music out there sometimes. Yeah. So, awesome. so over on this side, they have like live music sometimes. Um, this is definitely one of the spaces for Scarlet Night, which is happening tonight. A lot of events happen all over the ship. We often spend a lot of time in here. Get some great food here too. Yeah, what's your favorite dish? I like the octopus. Mm -hmm. Octopus. Throat. The octopus. Chicken thighs are good too. Um, and then the wake, so this is important. When you have dinner at the wake, you enter through seven. So this is where the entrance is at. And you can see no one is here because um, right now it's one and brunch, which a lot of people don't realize that there's brunch, ends at like, actually now, one. So you can see a couple people are downstairs dining, finishing up their brunch. Um, but the wake, you enter on seven and then you sit on six. And this is a brunch restaurant and a dinner restaurant. And we are going here tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yes. Oh, what's one thing you would recommend from the wake? A seafood tower. Seafood tower. So yeah, that's an additional item, yeah. which is absolutely worth the price. So seafood tower is a really great option if you like seafood. It's very fresh, very delicious, and very large. Um, I recommend for brunch the pork belly benedict. I absolutely love that. Let's go outside first and then make our way backwards. Yeah. So this is the outside portion of the dock. Oh, we got the smoothie bar here and, too. Oh yeah, and they have smoothies. So in the mornings you can get fresh pressed juices um, and different shots, smoothie like uh, juice shots, wellness energy shots, um, more grab and go food on this side. Oh look, they have tres leches cake. Oh, Ooh, what's that? Holly butt dark chocolate. I don't even know what that means, but I might need to eat that later. And they have sandwiches and wraps. Cool. Um, one thing I recommend is looking at the entertainment calendar because oftentimes the DJ or just the musicians will perform out here. And it's really nice to go lay on one of the day beds, which all of these are just open and available for you to sit anywhere. 
um, and it's really awesome, especially when you're sailing. It's a great view off the back of the boat. I absolutely love that. So I love laying out here. We laid out here for a long time last yeah. time. Um, DJ was great. Listen, yeah, DJ Medina was spinning on that trip. He was on Scarlet Lady for a long time. Yeah. Um, what's interesting is a lot of the staff on Valiant Lady, we recognized yeah, <laughs> from Scarlet Lady. Yeah. <laughs> like Francois at the bar um, at SIP, which was my favorite spot. Are we allowed to walk through here? Oh, it magically opens for us. Oh no. I actually I don't think we can go through here. Maybe I'll try it. Looks like I got stuck this way last time. Nope. Come we on good. Through. Yes. There is one place where we will get stuck. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> okay, let's go past the bar and go on the other side. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is the bar. Obviously, you can order from your seat or you can sit at the bar. And then this will take us to the other side. What's your favorite uh, Mediterranean tapa from here? Uh, Let me guess. Go ahead. The octopus. Yeah, octopus, yeah. I love eating the grilled octopus. It's so delicious. Can you guess what mine is? Yours is the shrimp. The shrimp. The shrimp. They like make it so perfectly juicy and it's like just a little bit sweet. Not like they put sugar on it, but it like just, it tastes like sweet yeah, shrimp. True. So good. So you'll see there, there is a difference, right? On Scarlet Lady, the art is a little bit different. Um, here they have like these seahorses um, here, which is a little bit different. And, and shuffle then, boards over here. Yeah, um, the shuffleboard on Scarlet, on Scarlet is normally here, and they have it on the other side here. Um, and then the other difference is there's no swings, no swings. No swings. So the Instagramable swings that everyone takes pictures at is normally in this room here, um, but they don't have that. Instead, they just have this seating, which is a little bit different. So when you board the ship, you actually come through seven. So this is where you enter. Uh, we'll be coming into that room in just a minute. What would, you see, what would your top tip be for coming, you, hello, coming on board on embarkation day? Uh, top tip? Mm -hmm. um, just get yourself situated, like walking around, you know, figuring out where things are. I mean, obviously you go grab yourself something to eat. Liar. Let's get on the app. <laughs> yeah, get get on, on the app ASAP. As soon as you're on board, as soon as you are connected, yeah, I forgot about Signing that. up for You're things. Right. So you can sign up for your dinners in advance, but 45 days before you're sailing, but you can't sign up for the shows. And you classes. can't sign up for the fitness classes and all the other things until you are on board. And you should do that as soon as you get on. Like yeah. li we literally just sat down as soon as we got on board and started yeah, doing that. Her. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, two super important things that we're looking at right now. Oh, ice cream. What did, which one did you have? I had the uh, vanilla. Vanilla with a uh, chocolate cone. Because they offer different cones, which is really cool. Oh, like yeah. Red velvet, vanilla. Red velvet, the vanilla. You had a chocolate cone, though, didn't you? Yeah, the chocolate cone with the vanilla ice cream. Yeah, was that was delicious. I had some of that. Um, and then this is our favorite place. We normally don't come here until after midnight. Um, but it, obviously, its hours are significantly more extended than that. And that's the pizza place. My favorite pizza. Oh, I get the same one every single time. That's the white truffle and egg. Uh, top tip, it's hot in here, right? Yeah. Especially at night. I mean, obviously not right now because they're not serving pizza right now. Um, but at night, when you order it for late night, this place can get so packed out. The line's so long and they give you a buzzer and you do not have to wait in here. That buzzer will extend all the way to the manor, which we will get to later. Oh, hey, look at us. Um, me. <laughs> it extends all the way to the manor. And so you don't have to wait in here. I mean, you could sit even just outside where the air conditioning is at um, and wait for your pizza. Everyone stands in here and just sweats. It's hot. It's usually, it smells like, well, pizza. <laughs> like so 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's the pizza place. Oh, love the pizza place. White truffle with the egg. That's my favorite one. Uh, their special on this trip was what? They always have one special pizza. I did the uh, barbecue chicken pizza the other night. It was good. Yeah, barbecue chicken pizza. 
I had chorizo last night, but I did not I didn't participate in pizza last night. I didn't even try that. Yeah, you didn't have pizza last I did night. Not. I had one, just one, one glass too many last night. <laughs> the bartender accidentally poured one more glass of Moet, and I was not going to say no to that. Can't let it go to waste. Nope, cannot let it go to waste. All right, this is the Draft House, which I don't think you and I have ever drank at this bar, but it's like primarily beers. Um, but this is the Draft House. Right after Draft. No, 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 tell us in the comments which one it is. I, I mispronounce everything. I mean, for years. It wasn't until I started watching Game of Thrones as an adult that I told my mom that it's not pronounced sword, uh, it's sword. Uh, <laughs> I was anyway. just reading it, it looked like a drop. Oh, no, that's that's what happens when your parents are born <laughs> in a different country. All right, here we have the chart room. Um, and then when you first enter the ship, it's gonna be over here, which to the left of that, you have Shore Things. Shore Things is the excursions. And then over here is where Future Voyages is at, where if you wanna book a future voyage, you can do that here. There are some very good discounts, but one thing that I did not realize, I. Sorry, JC. I really thought travel agents were irrelevant now, but they're not. There are deals that they can get that even as savvy as a traveler as I am, I can't get those same deals. So if you are looking for a killer deal, or at least just getting quotes on what you could get, make sure you check the link in the description below, because JC can hook you up. Hooked me up, big time. <laughs> this is uh, one of three sailings over the next 45 days that we are on. But this is one of my most favorite places, and where are we, Lou? This is on the rocks. You are so wrong. No, this oh, is Sip. I, I mixed the two names up. Sorry. <laughs> this is Sip. Let's let these people pass. Um, this is Sip, which is the champagne bar. Um, I absolutely love this spot. You can see why they have Moet here. But one thing that they also have is high tea. Um, and that's something I've always wanted to try, so that's on my radar. But they do high tea here also, not every single day, so you have to check the hours for that. Um, but a great place to grab a glass of bubbles. Obviously, they have a full bar. Right now, the bar is closed, um, but they have a full bar, full selection, and really fantastic staff. We love Francois. Yeah, you gotta definitely get the, um, the uh, what is it, the, uh, the espresso martini. Oh yeah, That's you had that, that for the first really time. That's yeah, awesome. That was delicious. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. I don't recognize you guys had a costume. Let's see if this door's <laughs> open. Okay. Let's enter the red room. So the red room you can get, you can enter on both levels, um, six and seven. But the primary entrance um, is off of. Actually, I feel like it varies. Never mind. It could be six or seven. Uh, what happened in this room that you absolutely loved? The show. The show was awesome. No, Lou won bingo here. Like oh, literally. Square one bingo? <laughs> oh, it doesn't even, this I don't a, even recognize it because we death, came from there. This is oh. a death wish to meatball. That's why I said sometimes you enter on seven, but sometimes it depends. Like you enter on six. Yeah. Depends on what the event is. So bingo with the diva. Yeah, that's drag right. Drag queen bingo happened here. A lot of the shows happen here. Um, and they change around the space a lot, which is why you don't really recognize yeah, I didn't, it. Yeah, I did not recognize it. Yeah, but this is the red room. Um, and when I say he won bingo, I mean you won. <laughs> there are four rounds of bingo with Bingo with the Diva, and you run. You won the jackpot, which yeah. was uh, two thousand two hundred and twenty-eight dollars and twenty-one cents. Yeah, twenty-one cents is most important. That was awesome. So congrats to me, Paul. Congrats to me. <laughs> so that's where bingo happens. Ooh, look. Look, it's a door we're not supposed to go through. So what's interesting about the inner ship spaces is that you can go in there on Scarlet Night. So depending on how you play your cards on Scarlet Night, get to know the Happenings cast because they will do secret shows around the ship, sometimes taking you into like back room areas um, where, actually how many times have we watched the Charmer do a private magic show? Oh, uh, like three or four times. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, but yeah, look for that. All right, groupie. Let's go be groupies. Open the door. Thank you, Mipa. What's the groupie? Karaoke. <laughs> well, you and I are not fans of karaoke. But if you're a fan of karaoke, you have tons of private karaoke rooms. And these are all um, free for everybody. So you can just book them. And depending on the size of your room, you'll choose it. So. Like, what does this say, for example, Lou? Oh, look, Ruby is open, so you just sign, oh, you just sign up on the paper. How many people does that one fit? 
Take a look. Let's see what his reading, reading Eight to abilities ten. are. Eight, Eight to, to ten. ten. <laughs> Eight to ten, you got the pink room. All right, and then the blue room holds how many? Two to four people. We should probably open it, huh? Do you think someone's in there? I don't know if somebody's in there. Yeah, I don't know I don't if someone's in there. I don't want to disturb anybody. Yeah, all right. Because those are soundproof doors. Yeah, it's also true. Someone could be singing their heart out in there at this exact moment in time. Have we missed anything on this floor? I don't believe so. Let's see. We went to sip. We saw the dock. Nope, we are all set on seven. Let's go to six. So it's really just seven, six, and five. And hopefully no one's ever going to four because that's where the medical spaces are at. What would you say about the vibe of Valiant Lady versus the vibe of Scarlet Lady? It's a little Lady? more laid back, it's chill. Yeah, it is. It feels a little bit more laid back. I We were chatting with Simon, one of the staff yesterday, and he was talking about how that's the case. And I was saying, really, it's gonna be Scarlet Night that is the telling moment about that. Because Scarlet Night is the night that most people go all out. Um, and so I'm curious how that will go tonight. So what you see in front of us is the red room with the entrance on six, which for some events, or most events, you enter through here. Now I recognize it. <laughs> That's where I bought my ticket. And then it's they really usually funny. serve drinks out front too. Yeah. So if you guys want they drinks serve drinks out front. Um, <laughs> serve drinks out front um, and they also don't allow glass in there yeah. so you have to switch out your glass and where are we now we are in the casino you played before I have played before. how is it oh uh, it's a good time uh, what I like about the Valiant Lady they actually have an extra roulette table I think Scarlet only has one oh, roulette do? table yeah so let's let them pass so. one of my favorite things is that they do some for they do mustering all over the ship but for the people who have to muster in here, it's funny because you literally sit at a poker table and do, <laughs> do your safety briefing. <laughs> so this is where the casino is at and you get free drinks while you're gambling? Uh, I, I don't remember if I got a free drink. You on should that one. get free drinks when you're gambling, which by the way, all of these FAQs are gonna be in the blog post. This is the manor. Open the bar, please. And what's the manor? Use those muscles. Yes. It's an awesome club. The manor is what? An awesome club. It is an awesome club, but it's also a convertible space. They do the VHS workout class here. Yes. Which, in my opinion, a shake weight is actually a very difficult exercise to do, but helpful tip for the shows, it should be one of the very first things you book, especially the ones that require tickets some of them are just you can just book them you don't have to have a ticket um i think someone might be practicing something right now this is where the manor is at oh i love this space but one helpful thing is if you try to book a show and you didn't get in then you can actually go upstairs and it's just kind of open seating we did that last yeah. night because last night was what show Oh, the, uh, around the world with Diva. That was a great show. Yeah, so Carlos the Drag Queen is a fantastic entertainer and she put on her drag show and we, <laughs> we came late um, and all the seats were taken. So we went upstairs mm -hmm. and we sat upstairs and had our drinks up there and then watched the show. And they do have a bar upstairs because I wasn't sure about that. So I waited yeah, downstairs, they, but there's actually a bar yeah. down there too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Which, by the way, if you are curious how much drinks are or how much you will spend, make sure you check out the other videos or the blog posts below, because um, then it will help you plan it, because one of the top complaints about Virgin Voyages is that there's no drinks package. And so a lot of people don't know, like, oh, how much should I prepay on the bar tab, which bar tab versus Sailor Loot are two different things. So all of that is in the blog posts below. Sailor Loot, in short, can be used on anything, shore things, excursions, retail, food upgrades like hot the shades. seafood tower. Okay, getting you're getting shave. a hot shave tomorrow. Wow. But bar tab can be used on bar only. So here's the bar for the casino. And then over here is the bar that you called sip, which is <laughs> this one over here is on Mix the rocks. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. On the rocks. We love on the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a beautiful seating space over here. Um, and over here is where they also have lots of different kinds of live music. Or sometimes like the Diva will come out and put out a show out here, a little bit more of an intimate show. 
Um, and last night I was jamming out to one of the funk bands, which was awesome. The space looks so different when it's light outside versus dark outside. But the bar is closed right now, but this is where the band normally performs at, and you can catch a ton of live entertainment over here. And on the other side is where Meatball will get his hot shave tomorrow. But this is another difference between Val Valiant Lady and Scarlet Lady, is that at Scarlet Lady, instead of having um, eyes and shine, here they have um, a sunglasses store. Over there they have um, the, the Mac or makeup space. But they still have the same thing with um, Squid Ink, where you can get a tattoo or a piercing at sea. And then same thing, they have um, booty, or oh. you, <laughs> booty free, where you can get alcohol, um, duty free alcohol. And then this is the different one. They have this eyes and shine. And then this is where Meatball will be tomorrow, where he will get his hot shave. You loved your hot shave yes, on the last you one. Get your hair yeah. did. Um, yeah, they have some makeup on this side. And then this is where uh, retail is at. So what do they call it? High Street, that's right. High Street retail area. I actually do recommend that you <laughs> check out the version store. Um, actually, yeah, the bag, the bag that I'm wearing and the hat that oh, yeah. you're wearing is from here. Oh, look, they have little white sailor hats over here. That's cute. Um, but they have all kinds of just really fun swag. And to be honest, a lot of it is really inexpensive. Um, some of it is expensive, but a lot of it is really inexpensive. So I would consider checking it out. It's fun. They make fun stuff. Then you have High Street with the rest of retail. And what's hiding behind this? Ooh, do you remember which restaurant's on this side? Versus uh, extra the other virgin. side? Extra virgin. Is it true? We're about to find out. So there's one restaurant on each side. Oh, this side is extra virgin. Oh, I did it. I got was, something right. What was your... <laughs> oh, hey, we can walk in. Cool. Uh, extra virgin. This is their Italian restaurant, um, but don't think it's just pasta, right? What was yeah, your favorite dish pasta. that you had? But to be honest, the pasta, and I'm not really like a pasta eater, but the gnocchi was phenomenal. You're Italian, really but you're good. not a pasta eater. Yeah, facts. The, the gnocchi is fantastic. I mean, all the pasta is freshly made but this is the Italian restaurant. My favorite would be the beef tartare. Beef tartare was delicious. Um, and one food upgrade you have an option for here is truffles. So for $25, you can get freshly shaved truffles onto your food, but this is extra virgin. Oh, I've never sat on that side. We always sit on this side. The Italian restaurant. That means on the other side is test kitchen, right? Uh, yes, or what, I thought it was, uh, what's the Mexican place? Uh, Pink Agave. Pink Agave. Pink Agave is one of the most hidden restaurants. It's actually through Sailor Services That's on right. five. Five. Yeah, it, it's one of the harder ones to remember where it's located at. Ooh, here's a helpful tip. Something you should not do, forget essentials. So things like a razor or sunscreen or stuff like that. It is not cheap to get it here. So if you have forgotten that, ask your fellow cabin mates if they have a spare. How much did I spend on a razor last time? Uh, Single-use razor. I don't remember. Sixteen dollars. Well, was it sixteen dollars? <laughs> sixteen dollars. Like, wow. Do I have to shave my legs on this chair? <laughs> sixteen. Yeah. Anyway, it was sixteen dollars. Fine. Shaved legs, priceless. <laughs> Okay, so here's the other side of High Street where you can find more retail. And then behind here is where Test Kitchen should be. So when you bring it, bring it back, bring it, bring it back. Test Kitchen. Ooh, and it's open, fantastic. Look at that. Let's be honest, tell them how you feel about Test Kitchen. It's beautiful, they do a great job, but uh, it's a little long, so. Make sure you have nothing going That's on. That's not true. If you ask them to hurry, they will They will bring out the dishes quickly. You asked me and I told you my honest opinion. That's all it was. I'm just well, saying. Well, I'm just saying, we did have a show or something one time. And so yes, we asked them to hurry and they served us and got us in and out in an hour. Yes. Our first dinner here admittedly was like three hours, but I we both did the drink pairings. You did the cocktail pairing. Yes. And I did the wine. The wine pairing is fantastic. If you like wine, it's a great ship for wine. Hello! Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Surprise, we're here. Uh, what is cool is that they they will they will take you back into the kitchen um, to to say hello to the to the staff if you ask. But you can see like this setup is um, you can see them preparing the food. It's real. It's a really fun experience. It's, a good experience. it's, it's an experimental experience. Like um, that mushroom is really good that they do. Oh, the mushroom is super tasty. Oh, it's like a mushroom I, pate. But here's another helpful thing that a lot of people don't know. There's the regular menu. There's the vegetarian menu, which I tried. I'm definitely not vegetarian. I just wanted to try the vegetarian menu. But when you're on the longer sailings, they also have a second menu. So you can ask about these things when you're dining at Test Kitchen. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I surprised you. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, that's Test Kitchen. What are the restrooms called, Lou? Men's head, women's head. <laughs> what Men's did you think head. it was at first? I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a bar. <laughs> I'm going to grab a drink at Men's go, Head. I think I'm going to go to Men's Head. Oh, I thought it was a barbershop originally. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, this way, this way. Sorry. Okay, it's pink agave. Pink agave. Pink agave is their Spanish Mexican restaurant, um, which actually really fun. Do you mind if we walk through? Yes. Thank you. Um, on their last sailing, they actually had the DJ set up down here. Yes. That was super fun. He was spinning right. laughing hits. Oh, it was good. It was a good time. Oh, what's your favorite dish here? My favorite dish, actually, to be honest with you, is the steak with the cheese on it. That's a main entree. Uh, it doesn't sound, but when or it doesn't even look. It looks it's awful. Piece. It looks terrible. It actually. looks awful. But it's the best tasting thing it, ever. It's it so sounds, good. When you read it, it sounds awful. Yeah. It's, when you receive it, like, eh, it looks I don't know awful. About this. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. So it's a ribeye, and it has um, a cheese on top of it, and it's just it's really good. super ugly looking, and really, really delicious. Beautiful space. So this is pink agave. So nice. And I think one thing that you're noticing is that a lot of these spaces right now are empty, but we're able to walk into them. And so, so many people like try to take their Instagram photos and such when it's like so busy. I'm like, go do it when no one is there. Like that entryway into the manor, no one's there right now. Like now is a great time to take that photo or even here, like taking a photo in front of these beautiful lights is really nice. Um, do it when no one is here, not when everyone's coming to dinner. You have the bar area. This was where the DJ had set up before. All kinds of different um, tequilas too. Oh yeah, the mezcal list and the tequila list here is awesome. Obviously the wine list also, but love that. They have a lot of um, wines from like Mal uh, the Malbec, like a lot of different Malbec wines from the Mendoza area. And then a bunch of like Chilean wines and stuff. Super fun. All right, so this was Sailor Services. If you have any issues, you can come here for that. You wanna know what's next to Taylor Services? Oh, this is where you collect your money too when you win bingo. That's where they <laughs> is that true? Yeah, they'll actually they'll, they'll put it automatically onto your app, but if you want to like uh, Christina or anybody, oh, you know, so on your uh, thing, you could, yeah, you can make that happen. What Lou is trying sense. to say right now is if, if you want to change how you're paying for your voyage, you can do that at Sailor Services. Yeah. But what I was going to say was what's next to Sailor Services is what we're looking at now, which is the spa. Oh yeah, the spa is really nice. Spa is really nice and the thermal suite is even better. So if you are looking for um, a view of the thermal suite, check out my Scarlet Lady tour video. Um, one of the things about having Rockstar status is you get um, access to the thermal suite which is, what's in there? Oh, there's so many things in there. There's a salt room, oh, there's, there's a, a steam room, there's a sauna. There's a cold pool. Uh, oh, yeah, the yeah. little cold tubs. Oh, they jacuzzi. got a mud room. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got a whole mud room. <laughs> oh man, I think Razzle Dazzle's closed. Hello. Uh, so open for brunch and also open for dinner is Razzle Dazzle. Um, they recently changed their menu. I'm sad that the tots are not on there. Let's see if it's open. Huh? Huh? Maybe? Maybe. Oh, that looks so closed. Huh? 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 That one. <laughs> oh, that clingy. Okay. Oh, that clingy. Let me just take a quick look. Well, we'll just, I'll just stand here. Um, so this is Razzle Dazzle. Um, hello. Um, and this is a spot that you can come to for a brunch, or you can come to... Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank um, you. You can come here for dinner. What would you say your favorite dishes? 
Uh, I like the, um, I really like the, the good I like. <laughs> Love it. Our favorite dish that they removed from the menu is the pork schnitzel. Oh, yeah, we so love good. the pork schnitzel, but second to that would be the fried chicken. Oh, yeah, the, the fried, fried chicken, chicken right. was bomb.com, super delicious. I feel like I need, even if I were to prepare meatball with all these questions beforehand, he would 100% forget <laughs> everything, so. There's so much to do, so much going on. You just, <laughs> it's a lot to keep up with sometimes. Oh, I love you. I'm <laughs> sorry. Welcome to our messy room. Let's do a quick room tour um, and then I'll take you outside and I'm going to show you what a day looks like here on Valiant Lady because um, a lot of people say that there's not enough to do on this ship so <laughs> we slept in late and housekeeping hasn't come yet but we have a sea terrace room and one thing a lot of people don't realize is that the majority of rooms on Scarlet or on Valiant Lady and Scarlet Lady are sea terrace balcony rooms so there's there are options for solo cabins. There are options for more upgrades. Um, but here is the bathroom um, and you have um, a nice shower and it's it's fairly spacious. One thing about the Mega Rockstar Suite is the bathroom is humongous. Um, I definitely recommend checking out that tour video. It's pretty cool. Bed's super comfy. If you are not sailing with someone, if you are sailing with someone you do not want to sleep with, you do have an option to have the room arranged um, such that you are not sleeping together so that's an option all right let's go outside and let's talk about a day oh i got a nice little gopro time lapse going on here close to maya wanted to film the uh clouds moving cool all right let's look so everything everything on version voyages happens on the app all right here we go ah oh, what a nice day at sea okay so let's talk about tomorrow so we're halfway through our sailing right now um, today we're at Costa Maya, but tomorrow we're going to be at sea. And if you are a morning person, you have the option for some various uh, wellness things and it's happening all on the perch. So that's where we started this video, right? So they have wellness stuff happening up there. Lou took, uh, Meatball took the hit class this morning. He loves that. Uh, that happens on training camp on 16. More options for workouts. I love that spin class. Uh, the bungee class is one of the first things that always, always, always sells out. So make sure you sign up for that immediately if you want it. You have an option to do an exclusive tour of the entire ship. That sounds fun. More workout classes in the afternoon. Uh, sorry, we're still in the morning. It's only 10 a.m. Oh, I love the VHS workout. It's so fun. Something really different that happens inside of um, the manor. And then um, you have pickleball. So that's a new one. We saw that upstairs um, and outside from 10 to two. And then we have different like casino things. We have, well, we are still at 10.30 a.m. We have a bunch of wellness options. This is fun, move and flow, veggie forward libations. That's fun. Then they have bingo. This is not bingo with the diva, but you have bingo later with, um, with actually the happenings cast. So you have games with the happenings cast. You have bingo with the happenings cast, some stuff in the casino, a tea class. Well, that's fun. So these different classes that they have with like adult painting, all of these switch out all the times. So a lot of these I'm seeing for the first time. The other thing that's cool, like this band, new. Like they switch over the entertainment all the time um, on Virgin Voyages. So you'll see different people all the time um, and different shows all the time. Even on my multiple sailings with Scarlet Lady, it's different every single time. That's fun. They, so they have champagne bubbles and fried chicken bites. And you can see for a lot of these paid classes, they're not exorbitantly expensive. So drinking champagne and eating fried chicken for 45 bucks, that sounds pretty freaking good. Uh, you can take a coffee class. Um, something not to miss is the charmer. So you can get a magic show at the roundabout. That's free. Uh, you can do a mixology class for 50 bucks. More bungee, more working out. Dodgeball, super fun. Um, and then we get into the afternoon with like music, um, getting ready. Ooh, that's fun. More beverage classes and more bungee classes. Oh, that's just, this is fun. Derby style live seahorse racing with a twist. That sounds fun. That happens with the Happenings cast. More wellness stuff. You got trivia. A lot of people participate in the trivia. We are very bad at trivia. Oh, I like this. It's a ship show. Um, that was actually really fun. It's a variety show um, that also has dinner included with it. And the dinner is delicious. Um, I talk about that in my other Virgin Voyage videos. So check that out if you want more details on that. 
more live music. Dual Reality is a really fun show. Check out my entertainment video if you want info on all of the different shows. Um, and then we get into the evening time, which is when we have more live music, some stargazing, another show. And then tonight, oh no, tonight is Scarlet Night, but tomorrow night, the event is Boom Bang. Uh, so that will be the late night um, party in the manor. Ooh, so fun. If you had some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. I have so many blog posts and so many other videos. Check the description for all of that info. And I hope you get on a future sailing. If you want the best deal possible, make sure you check that out with JC. He is awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.